when you're riding up a hill, it'll get to a point where every single cell in your body is screaming at you to slow down and stop. But we don't have to. And I want to show you a technique that is going to train you to have a stronger mind so that you can really push yourself to your potential beyond where you thought you could go. And it's something that we could do anywhere. And it's just using your breath. So we're going to do a breath hold technique and we're going to do it right now. So join in with me. We're going to hold our breath. Here we go. And it got to a point there where there was a voice in my head telling me to take in the next breath. And I visualized that there was this, this voice here, this lizard brain shouting at me to take in the next breath, but I was the gatekeeper. There was a conversation being had and I wasn't letting him in. He was shouting and getting all irate at me to, to take in the next breath. We're going to die in the next few seconds. But I knew that I wasn't going to die in the next few seconds. And that conversation is the same conversation that I'm having when I'm really pushing myself hard on the bike up a hill. And the reason I'm showing this technique is because it's about practicing having that conversation with the lizard brain and just realizing that what the lizard brain is saying, what the lizard brain is telling you to do is not what has to happen. You're in pain. Every single cell in your body is screaming at you to slow down and stop. That isn't actually physical failure. That's actually a mental failure, which this technique helps you to train to decide better when that point of failure happens. So what I'm trying to show you here is that you can be a better gatekeeper. Just be mindful about the conversation that you're having when the excuses start to bite, when the pain starts to kick in, when the lizard man is squirming and he's just shouting, he wants to come in. <laughs> what kind of gatekeeper are you? And do you just let him in? Or do you get a bit playful with him? Do you joke around? It'd be interesting to hear what kind of visualization you have when you're pushing yourself on your limit and what you can use to practice but uh, that's about it for today thank you so much for watching I'll see you in the next one so the next time you're pushing yourself <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>